just uh, call me Chris if you want. <laughs> so I, I won't torture, torture you with saying this. Uh, my first time at LGM was uh, in uh, 2014. Uh, I, uh, it was in Leipzig. Uh, I'm a long time contributor to Inkscape and a board member, but uh, today I put on a different hat because recently I've been working for this uh, really obscure company. Not sure if anybody heard about this. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, I've been working on a, on a pretty uh, interesting project. Uh, it's called Google Cardboard because it's made of cardboard. Uh, you have this cardboard box with a pair of lenses. You put in your phone and it turns into a virtual reality viewer. And uh, part of what makes that possible is a, is a pretty cool library called uh, Google Ion. Uh, so the, tag, the tagline for this library is uh, portable open GL made easy. Uh, but uh, why exactly would, would you care to, to use it? Well, what's, uh, what, what's the motivation for, for having something like this? And what, what, what's the added value? So uh, the main added value of this library is uh, that it, it abstracts all the differences between uh, desktop OpenGL, OpenGL ES that's available on mobile, mobile platforms like phones or tablets, uh, and WebGL. So you can, you can also use it in, in the browser. Uh, we target, uh, uh, let's say, do we have Windows Phone users here? Anyone? Okay, uh, I see one person, so you're, you're out of luck, unfortunately, because that's the only mainstream platform we don't support. Uh, 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 internally, we have uh, continuous builds for uh, iOS, Android, OS X, uh, Ubuntu, uh, Windows, uh, and, and I'm pretty sure it works on almost uh, an, uh, anything that has a re reasonable GL implementation, uh, C++ compiler, and uh, po POSIX uh, API. Uh, I'm only not sure about, uh, about Wayland status, but it, it shouldn't be much work to add it. Uh, and what, what are some of the advantages? It's really lightweight. It's less than half a microbinary binary size. Which is probably not a big deal on, on the desktop, but uh, on, on mobile it's, it's very important, especially since, uh, let's say, for, in Android you have to pull, put all your libraries in, in an APK. Uh, it has a pretty good test coverage, so you can avoid mishaps like, like that. Um, I would say there's more test code than actual code in, in, the, in the repository. Uh, and uh, what's pretty cool about this, it, it has a pretty extensive remote interface for debugging. Uh, so uh, I, I will show you what, what, what it looks like in a, in a, few, in, in a minute. And uh, it, it's already used in the wild, uh, battle tested, and we use it in many Google projects. So the, the chances of it going away are very, very small. Uh, it's available uh, under the Apache 2.0 license, uh, which, as you probably know, is compatible with uh, GPL version 3. So uh, there should be no licensing problems uh, in using it in uh, open, source, open source projects. Uh, are there any downsides? Uh, of course there are. Uh, the, first, the first downside is that we, uh, uh, we are mainly mobile oriented and desktop is a uh, uh, it, uh, desktop is a secondary concern, so some features that are only available in desktop OpenGL are not, not supported in, in the library. Uh, the, the build system for the open source version is, is a bit rough in a few places because it's different from our, our internal build system, but I hope we'll get there. Uh, there is no uh, releases to speak of because we have this philosophy that we don't really believe in releases. Ideally, you should be able to pick any commit and uh, and just use it uh, without problems. Uh, and uh, there's some overlap with uh, what's already standard in C++ 11 because this project st started before C++ 11 was widespread. Uh, and now, hopefully, there will be a short demo. Okay. Uh, 
so this is a sample application. Uh, it, it demonstrates the uh, sign distance field based text render that's inside ION. And now for the cool part, I'm going to open a browser and go to a local host 1234. Ah, um, oh, yes. <laughs> Sorry. And here, here I have a few settings. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to pin this to the front, and uh, I, I can change a few settings. Like I, I can change the text here. <coughs> Bam. It updates. Uh, I can uh, now uh, some some more debugging features. I can see. Uh, what the OpenGL implementations, uh, what the OpenGL implementation reports to me, uh, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty crowded here. But for for instance, here are all the uh, all the GL extensions that are available, uh, the, all, all the uh, limits like textures, maximum texture size, uh, GL version, GLSL version, and so on. Uh, I can also see all, all the resources used by the program, like all, all the buffers that are. Uh, that are created by the application. Uh, uh, there are no frame buffers. I, I can also see uh, programs, uh, textures, vertex arrays, and so on. I can also trace uh, frames. This is place what uh, what uh, what GL calls are made, and this all works over the network. So you can also use this with uh, Android devices. You can plug in your Android phone, compile an ION application, and debug this using the same interface you would use for a desktop application. You, you could even conceivably do, do this uh, remotely over the network, because just use a standard TCP. Uh, you can also see uh, the node graph here, and you can even edit, edit shaders. This is the shader is different. Um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't know why why it doesn't want to go into presentation mode, but never mind. Uh, okay, and, and I hope we have what, like one or two minutes for maybe for our questions. Thank you. So, so the library is in C++ 11. Uh, for now, there are no bindings, uh, but uh, I guess it would be pretty, pretty simple to generate them with something like uh, Swim. But uh, so far, but uh, when it comes to us, we, we don't provide any, any language bindings besides C++ 11. But we, we do do support doing things. Uh, we we do support things like Enscripten and ASMJS. So you can even use ION in the browser. 